I'm Sam from Sheridan Computers. I have a HP 450G6 notebook. Um, now the problem with this was it was just stuck at the bias screen and not working. Um, we tried it with a different stick of RAM and it worked. And I've now ordered the stick of RAM for it, so I've got to strip it down and um, fit that RAM. So I figured that I'd do it, and while I'm doing it, I'll show you how to do it in case you need to strip one of these down yourself. It doesn't take long, literally a couple of minutes. So let's just get started. Sheridan Computers. IT. Communications. Support. Okay, so if we turn the laptop over, look at the bottom. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws that we need to remove. Um, the top three are the middle two. can just be just loosen them off, but we need to take these ones out properly. So let's go ahead and do that. To say these ones, you don't need to remove them all the way, just loosen them off. Like so. Okay, so with those removed, we can now um, go ahead and attempt to remove the base. I'm just using a small flathead screwdriver for this. I'd suggest you don't use a screwdriver and you actually use a police tool. You can lift it up, go around the laptop, release the sides. Such. And again on this side. So that's the case removed. Now, the memory for this is located under this strip here. You can see there's a stick of memory in that. This is the faulty one that I'm going to remove. We have the new one. Go ahead and insert that. Now that is basically it. Um, if you do need to remove the battery for whatever reason, there's a screw here, one here, one here. Now this screw varies. Sometimes it's a small one that doesn't need to be removed. When it's the large one like this, you'll have to take that out as well, and then the battery will just lift up. Um, let's go ahead and put it back together. So, put the case back on. Just be wary of this to make sure it's still there's the network port. Make sure you can still get the cable in and stuff, and it still flexes. Yeah, press this down. Then you do have the case on, just 
Press around the edges firmly to make sure it's seated properly. Again. So this was stuck at bio screen and it just wasn't booting. Um I have took it apart previously, that's how I know how to do it quickly. Um now it should boot up. There we go. On fixed laptop.